Silver Reef, Utah, Wild West Ghost Town, and a mining community. Welcome to Weekend Escapades. Let's take a look. The ghost town of Silver Reef is located about 15 miles northeast of St. George, Utah. Silver Reef was a mining boom town in the late 1800s with the discovery of silver in sandstone, which is a geological rarity. There is now a Wild West ghost town located in a stunning geological area. This is what's left of the Barbie Walker Mine and Mill Overlook area. This was the area, it was a flotation mill that they used uh, to separate everything that they had mined. Heavy stone and heavy timber still exist and show the construction. This is the Rice Bank Building. Now the Rice Bank Building, of course, was a bank and then became the private residence of Ann Bassett. In Old West folklore, romantically, it appears that she was linked to Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. We are looking at the St. John's Church location. This church was now moved to the town of Leeds, which isn't far from Silver Reef. This fine stonework built this amazing home of Henry S. Lubbock. His wealth would pay for this stonework. They had an amazing garden, and this was known as one of the nicer homes in the area. You can definitely see the craftsmanship and quality of this home by looking at these remains, and this is all that is left. With what remains here in Silver Reef, it is tough to really show you the details, so we'll have to use our imagination as to how this town used to look. What we're looking at here is the Emily Stewart House, also West Street Homes, and what will come up shortly is the tailing pile. Now the tailing pile, the bulk waste from the uranium mill was deposited here. Note the green and blue copper rich minerals, and you'll see that shortly. Silver Reef needed a settling pond. The uranium mill had to have fresh water. And this settling pond held the recycled water for the uranium milling process. This amazing rock wall created the fence that surrounded the school and schoolyard that used to exist here in Silver Reef. Now half of this old school was cut in half and put into Leeds, Utah, which again is not far from Silver Reef. Hard to see here is the West Street Waterway. This brought water into the town below for both irrigation and culinary use. Other buildings that existed here were the Johnson Drugstore and the Silver Reef Minor Printing Office. These stone remains we'll look at are the remains of Main Street businesses and the Harrison House. The Harrison House Hotel was called the Waldorf Astoria of Utah Territory. A large two-story structure held a five-star restaurant featuring a grand piano and had 45 rooms. Hard to believe by looking at these ruins that this all existed here in Silver Reef, but you can still see quality photos and what the town looked like at the museum. No ghost town is complete without a jail. Silver Reef Jail. 
This small jailhouse has traveled the county and has now come back home, once a lodging for thieves, drunkards, and even a murderer. Now this jail stood behind the Elkhorn Saloon, which was sometimes used as a courtroom. When the town was abandoned, the jail was hauled off to Leeds, Utah, and then to Washington City, serving at various times as an ice house. The location of the Elkhorn Saloon is next. It was said that outside this saloon, a miner and the marshal stepped out and shot each other dead at this very location. Wells Fargo and Company Express Station. This is one of the oldest Wells Fargo Express stations in the country. Here, silver bullion from the miners was guarded and shipped out. The building also served as a stagecoach stop and housed dry goods and had a store. This is now the Silver Reef Museum. It's hard to believe by looking at the town now, the camp was filled with more than a thousand men looking for their fortunes. Within no time, the town boasted more than a hundred businesses stretched out along a mile-long Main Street, including nine grocery stores, six saloons, a newspaper called the Silver Echo, eight dry goods stores, a bank, a Wells Fargo office, a hospital, a hotel, and boarding house, and five restaurants. By 1879, the town was called home for some 2,000 people, including a horse race track, a brewery, and a brass band. But it was a bad year for the settlement. As a major fire swept through the town, the price of silver dropped, labor disputes erupted in the mines, and flooding occurred in many of the lower levels of the mine shaft. In 1881, silver prices dropped so low worldwide, the mines were filled with water at a rate faster than the workers could pump it out, and mine owners began to lower wages. Most miners could not afford to stay in Silver Reef, Utah. By 1884, most of the mines had closed in Silver Reef, quickly became a ghost town. Thank you for visiting Silver Reef with Weekend Escapades. Until our next adventure, goodbye from Weekend Escapades.